we're backstage here at Nordse Jazz Festival. This is the Madeira stage hangout. And in front of me is Mr. Arve Henriksen. He has a beautiful prize. Tell me about it. This is Paul Ackett Award. It's a prize that I got this evening. So it's fantastic and I feel so honored. This is uh, unbelievable. That I w That's my name on it. It's just... Let me have a look. Your name. Arve Henriksen. Are you surprised you got it? Absolutely. You know, among all these fantastic musicians that are around in Europe and all over, I mean, it's... And, uh, how on earth could I sort of <laughs> choose me? I, I, you know, I really don't understand this. It's, it's. Um, really? Are you modest or really? No, I'm. I'm actually. Uh, you know, the thing is that, as I said on when I got this on stage, is that I feel that I'm sort of receiving this on behalf of a lot of other musicians that I've been playing with for many years. The thing is that, for me. I wouldn't have been here without all the help and the inspiration and stuff from others uh, on the way. You know, it's and this, of course, that's obvious, but it's, it's. I need to say it because there's so many times that I've discovered that because of that person or that person, I have discovered new things and I've been able and encouraged to keep on because I, you know, many times I'm sort of felt that where where will this lead me? Where can I go? Do I have enough? power or and energy to to create this stuff can you give me an, ex an example of somebody who give you gave you new colors in music oh there's many but for instance uh, when I was studying in, in Trondheim at the music Academy uh, at some point there was a telephone call from uh, mr. Jun Balke a Norwegian piano player and he invited me to come down to Oslo and play with fantastic musicians which have been my idol uh, at the point and uh, jazz musicians, jazz musicians like Arun Kleive, Anders Schermin from Sweden, and, and many more, and a fantastic string, classical string quartet, which I, you know, was so fascinated by. So, so you see him, Christian Wallumrud, Norwegian piano player as well, Trygve Saim, saxophone player, you know, and, and of course Nils Petter Molver, many Norwegians, of course, uh, because. You know, there's a fantastic. Because you are Norwegian, and there's a big crowd of musicians. But also, I was recently on Iceland working with Skuli Sverison and uh, Hilmar Jensson, uh, Icelandic musicians, which have been working with Björk earlier on. I mean, it's it, there's so many musicians around, and and uh, Imogen Heap, you know, pop singer from England. I mean, all these persons have sort of opened up my eyes to different new things. So, um, you know, the, the jury said your tone is typically Norwegian and Japanese. I don't really get this. The thing is that I'm very inspired by, by all kinds of music and for me playing the trumpet, I could have played trumpet um, more in the traditional way, uh, but my, my, you know, I, I would really like to d discover new sounds on the trumpet. I don't know why I've started that, but I... I you are bored with a normal trumpet sound, is this it? <laughs> sort of, you know, sometimes the regular trumpet tone are just the perfect tone for that purpose but I would like to create a sound that suits my inner voice or my type of, of playing and then I needed to sort of you know search for new sounds and in Japan there was this shakuhachi flute in Norway you had uh, folk singers which was inspiring in in Armenia the duduk uh, duduk instruments Armenian, yeah. So there's a lot of instruments and sounds which are possible to imitate and copy and bring in. And in the beginning, these sounds are copied, and after a while, they become my sounds. So, uh, and of course, John Hassel, the American trumpet player, very inspiring uh, for many years, and he's fantastic. You change your sound not only electronic but also acoustically. What kind of things do you use to make your sound different? I can play with the regular mouthpiece. I can take the mouthpiece off and just play straight on the rim. Without, without anything? Without any mouthpiece. And I can play with a saxophone, soprano saxophone mouthpiece, as I did tonight and very often do. Uh, because then I can make very dark sounds, like a bass clarinet or baritone saxophone sound. Yeah, And, uh, and also, 
try to make the trumpet sing. That's maybe the main, main, my main goal, to make it sort of vibrate and, and, and sound like a human voice or something like that. About singing, you also sing yourself. I mean, not through your trumpet, but really. Uh, but it sounds like a very spiritual way of singing, like monks do. Yeah, you know, there we go again. No, there we go again. It's 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 the inspiration from from Mongolian tuba singing. This overtone singing. It could be. I I I don't know the technique, but I so try to imitate it sometimes. And and tonight I sang also this falsetto high voice thing. Beautiful. Thank you. It's it's quasi Italian uh, opera, whatever. Uh, so everything becomes very often. You know, in, in, it's very sometimes difficult to bal balance the, the sort of, of uh, sounds coming up because they could easily be, uh, you know, a little bit too naive. But sometimes I, I like the naivety with it. And, and uh, the singing is very important because the trumpet can express a lot of things. But for me, sometimes I need to have a rest. <laughs> and sometimes I, I would like to go in there. And, and I just like to sing, you know. It's, it's a variation. And I think it's a good variation for the crowd when they listen to all... Some parts of the improvisation can be a little bit sort of uh, too contemporary and some, some places are going to be a little bit in, you know, invert. And then it's nice to use the voice to just open up again and because voice is something that everybody have a sort of relationship to. Yeah. If you could describe your music in one sentence or color, or word, what would it be? Improvised with influences from all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> Improvised world music with jazz elements. Absolutely, jazz is in the base, basement of the whole thing, you know, the basics. Uh, and But jazz, look at this program at the festival here, you have all kinds of stuff here. And uh, someone would call Chaka Khan, maybe not jazz, maybe that's something else, but it comes from... This is the big question, what is jazz? Yes. Right? So this, this discussion will just go on and on and on and on, and I don't want to go into that sort of thing. But for me, jazz elements, improvisation, I will be happy for a long time. What will be the future for RV? Hopefully to keep on doing these things, because it's um, very inspiring and, and uh, give, you know, energy to the sort of regular life I have. I'm a father of five. I have five kids at home and... Five kids? Yes. And and it's sort of uh, interesting to, you know, the last four days I've been at home taking care of the kids, one-year-old twins, which are quite demanding. Uh, and then I come here and it's a totally different world. You find your peace on stage. Is this it? Sometimes I do, yes, but but I'm inspired by the kids that I have at home, and and for me, if I can go on like this, play music and play it together with my colleagues, because I need musicians to play with, because I, that's that's the most important thing to me, because I, as I said earlier on, I wouldn't have been here without them, so. Thanks very much. Good luck in the future, and have fun with your Paul Award. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.